friends today we shall talk about the problem of vision difficulties especially which are prevalent in our children these days many school going children are seen wearing spectacles because of various vision difficulties majority of them belong to affluent families If at the beginning we give suitable homeopathic medicine, the condition is quickly and completely cured in majority of cases. Otherwise, in spite of long treatment and procedures, many children are bound to use spectacles for their whole life. My humble request to all the parents is that be careful in the very beginning. Use homeopathic medicines and get your child cured permanently and quickly. If there are symptoms, as told here, in a patient, then Sinega is the remedy. The purpose of knowledge shared here is only educational and to increase awareness. Please always consult your family doctor before using any medicine. self treatment may always be injurious let us come to our topic dim vision and sinega the eye troubles are worse when looking intently at an object better bending the head backwards worse bending head forward and worse stooping violent rush of blood to head when is stooping especially to eyeballs where a painful pressure is experienced extreme tenderness a sort of aching pain in head in sensi foot and asi foot not worse by pressure worse sitting in a warm room a complete with pressure in eyes which did not bear touch it is predominantly left sided in its action worse looking intently in an at an object headaches and pain in the eyes get better by cool air eye balls feel distended bends head backward for amelioration of diplopia process etc i was feel like balls of ice sneezes until dizzy hyperporia better by bending head backwards dryness with sensation as if too large for orbits flickering must wipe eyes frequently double vision better only by bending head backwards dry coriza much watery mucus and sneezing nostrils feel peppery burning vesicles in corners of mouth and lips cough often and seen a sneeze dimness of vision during vertigo when reading dazzling while reading diplopia exhaustion of vision aggravates weakness of sight and flickering before the eyes when reading obliging to wipe them often but which were aggravated thereby flickering while writing letters run together dullness and stupefaction of head with pressure in eyes and obscuration of sight vision weakness using eyes aggravates eyes weak while reading flickering and running together of letters when reading flickering before eyes and weakness of sight when continuing to read or write weakness of sight and flickering before eyes when reading necessitating frequent weeping of eyes which aggravates sensitiveness of eyes to light aching over orbits eyes tremble and water when he looks at an object intently or steadily 
eyes weak and watery when reading, eyes pain as if they were pressed out, as if eyeballs were being expanded, especially in the evening in candlelight. Congestion of blood to eyes with pulsation in them on stooping. Hardened mucus in morning in eyelashes. Likely mason in open air and looking intently at an object. Sty on lower lip. Great debility with stretching of the limbs. Confusion, heaviness and beating in the head. Walking in open air aggravates stitches and oppression in the chest. Faintness. Stepping hard aggravates pain for chest. Racks chest pain between scapula. Open air ameliorates pain in the forehead. Cold ameliorates headache. Dose. Sinega 30 cs. 5 drops in the morning and 5 drops at bedtime are as advised by your physician. If you find information provided useful, then please subscribe to the channel, like and share the video and press the bell icon so that you may get information about the next video. Homeopathy, safer and superior medicine. Use homeopathy, stay healthy and improve your immunity. Swasthajan, Sasakta Rast, Healthy People, Fighty Nation. A good guideline to remember is homeopathy as the general rule, allopathy as a last resort. Thanks for watching the video.